You want to wake up with perfect hair in the morning. So do I. I like to have cute hair and I also like to have it done as quickly as possible so I can get all the extra minutes of sleep that I need. So I'm going to share with you some quick, easy tips that I've learned along the way. And let me just preface this by saying I'm not a hair person but I do like to have cute hair. I'm a sleep person. I like to sleep as much as possible. So my first trick is dry shampoo. I love this stuff. It is not your mother's. I also like the Batiste brand and you can just find these at Walmart. And I know it's counterintuitive to be dry spraying dry shampoo in your hair at night, but trust me, just go down your part Spray over your ears, part one time in the middle, and then do the same thing on the other side and just give it a light spray, let it sit for a minute, and then you're just gonna rub it into your roots. Doing this will give you lots of volume in the morning. Your hair will look nice and poofy and cute. My second tip is to invest in a satin pillowcase. Cotton pillowcases can make your hair a little bit rough. They make you sweat a little bit more. A satin pillowcase will keep you nice and cool. It'll be so gentle on your hair and your hair will be just as soft as your satin pillowcase. And my third tip is if you're like me and you wash your hair at night, give it a quick blow dry. Just, you know, get the roots. You don't have to do the whole thing, but give it a quick blow dry. If you give it, if you go to bed with completely wet hair, you can wake up with really flat, just plastered down to your head hair, or you might have like a weird poof in the morning. If you go to bed with damp hair, I'm going to give you a couple tips to make it look really natural when you wake up. My first tip is to try leave in conditioner. Just spray, don't put it in your scalp, just Spray it on the bottom of your hair. You can put some in your hands and just run it through with your fingers. And then after you do that, give yourself some braids, just like this. You know, put it, pigtail braids. Um, then you'll have a nice, really wavy hair and you'll, in the morning, you'll undo your braid and just comb it out with a wide tooth comb. The other tip I have is to do a top knot. With your roots dry and your hair on the bottoms a little bit wet, just put it up and with a scrunchie, you're gonna want a poofy scrunchie. That'll be what's best for your hair. I'm using this right now, it's just really soft fabric. Don't use any kind of scrunchie with metal. Just, you know, you know how to do a bun, just, and you're not trying to impress anyone when you're going to bed, just do something loose, tie it in with this. And then, um, you can also do the same thing. Get it up high with a silk scarf. Tie the silk scarf around the base of your ponytail. And this is called the pineapple. And with the silk scarf, you won't wake up with any kind of crease in your hair. That's why I like the silk scarf. So that's going to bed with damp hair. Let's say that you've styled your hair. You have long hair, curly hair, wavy hair. My hair is styled. My hair is usually stick straight. So this is how you're going to wake up in the morning with perfect hair, perfect styled hair. Okay. Again, you're going to just comb out with a loose tooth comb until all the tangles are out. Don't use any hairspray. The hairspray will just frizz and make your hair heavy overnight. So don't do that. Save your hairspray for the morning. You're gonna use a big scrunchie or something that's really soft on your hair and you're gonna pull your hair back into a really, really high ponytail. And this is especially how my long haired friends are going to wanna to sleep at night. So just a super, super loose ponytail. I've only made, gone around twice with that. Then for your hair, you're gonna take your pillowcase and you're gonna put it a little bit further down. So your hair has its own little spot to rest. It has its own little dam right here. If you have longer hair than I do, you're gonna wanna do that and this will keep your curls untouched. You won't be sleeping on them. They'll stay nice. 
and curly. So again, in the morning, come back with your wide tooth comb. Just comb it out. You can do this if you braided it, you're gonna wanna use this. Hit it with some mousse or some hairspray and you'll have nice styled, or if you're naturally curly, naturally curly wavy hair. And that is how I sleep at night so that I can wake up in the morning with beautiful hair ready to go in less than five minutes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video for more sleeping tips and we'll see you next time. Bye.